Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Dylan Schreibman. And I'm Taylor Martin. In today's newscast, we will discuss upcoming SAB events, your Seton Hall sports, and the five-day forecast. Recently, Mary Ellen Roberts from the College of Nursing was elected as chair of the American Academy of Nurse Practitioners Certification Board. The AAMPCB is the largest national organization for certification of nurse practitioners to work in all 50 states of the country as adult genitology, family, and ER nurse practitioners. For more information, contact Michael Gregorio at michael.gregorio1 at shu.edu. On Friday, March 24th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., many scholars and advocates from across the university and nation will be meeting in the College of Arts and Sciences in celebration of Women's History Month. These scholars and advocates will present their research in annual conference entitled Women, Gender 2017, Now, Then, Tomorrow. Pramelia Nadison, Associate Professor at History at Columbia University, has been selected to give the keynote address, which will take place in the Chancellor's Suite at 11.30 a.m. that day. For more information, contact Lori Pine at loripine at shu.edu. In the past few weeks, Seton Hall University has announced that President Gabriel Esteban has been appointed to the next president of Paul University in Chicago. Dr. Esteban will take the presidency of the largest Catholic university on July 1st and will succeed Reverend Dennis H. Holtschneider, who has served as Paul's president since 2004. From March 9th to the 12th, the South Orange Maple Wood Film Festival will showcase two hours worth of Seton Hall student films. Only 17 short pieces were, cho were chosen to film two-hour session, which was not an easy task given that the calendar of the films. The films will screen for about 90 minutes on March 12th starting at noon with the last 30 minutes dedicated to a Q&A with filmmakers. Fulfilling of shoe films, visit the Seton Hall website at shu.edu. And now we'll head over to James Justice with your Seton Hall sports update. James? Thanks, Dylan. Hey, Pirate fans. James Justice here to update you on all things Seton Hall sports. The men were out on the golf course in Goodyear, Arizona these past three days, and senior sensation Lloyd Jefferson Go continued to reach new heights in the blue and white. Go shot a 5-under par 67, the third best score for a par 72 round in Pirates history. On the tournament, Go shot in an 11-under par 205, which is the single best three-round par 72 total in Pirates history. Go would finish second on the tournament with his historic three days, helping the Pirates finish seventh as a team. On to the hard court, the Big East women's regular season wrapped up last Sunday with the Pirates falling in Queens to the Red Storm by a count of 77-71. to The Pirates will travel to Milwaukee later this week for the Big East tournament, where the Pirates will be seated eighth and play Providence in a first-round tilt on Saturday. As for the men, Tuesday's game against Georgetown marked senior night with the Pirates honoring two players in Madison Jones and Michael Dowdy Jr. The graduate tra transfer Jones came to South Orange last fall and has helped the Pirates carry over their defensively alert backcourt play. Despite the loss of two players, Dowdy Jr., on the other hand, was a walk-on last season, and while his impact may not have resonated onto the court, his importance day in and day out, especially with a paper-thin roster down the stretch of the season, cannot be overstated. And that just about does it for tonight's sports update. Once again, I'm James Justice, and now we go back to Dylan and Taylor with more Seton Hall news. Thanks, James. Summer can be a great time to explore new interests, gain a different skill, de deepen your understanding of a particular subject, and move closer to the goals you've set. Seton Hall, or Seton Hall offers many interesting, challenging summer classes and programs for students who want to earn credit towards a degree, delve into a new subject, or study abroad. Whether you are enrolled at Seton Hall University, returning home from another school, or looking for a genuine college experience while still, while still in high school, Seton Hall is a place to, to enrich your mind and, earn, and your summer. Registration begins on March 13th. The College and Communication and the Arts Brownson Speech and Debate team has won over the judges in their regular intercollegiate competitions. This has allowed the team to secure a high placing position and secure more than 75 awards for Seton Hall since the start of fall 2016. Congratulations to the members of the team and we wish you luck in the future. And now we'll take it over to Ailish Montgomery with, the, with your five day forecast. Ailish? Thanks Taylor. This is Ailish Montgomery with your five day forecast. We'll have a warm day on Wednesday with a high of 72 and a low of 45, but watch out because we'll be getting some rain. Thursday we'll have cloudy skies as it drops down to 48 degrees with a low of 29. Friday we'll have a chance of flurries with a high of 41 and a low of 23. 
Sunday, the sun comes out on Saturday with a high of 44 and a low of 31. It gets a bit warmer on Sunday with a high of 56 and a low of 40. This has been your five-day forecast. I'm Ailish Montgomery. Now back to Taylor and Dylan with more of the news you need to know. On Tuesday, March 14, 2017, from 5 o'clock to 6.15 p.m. in the UC Chancellor Suite, the Philosophy Department will feature the Philosophers Speak Dis Distinguished Lecture Series. This lecture, br this lecture brings to campus the renowned Dr. Douglas Portamore to address the question, what should you do when others won't do their part? And, count and consider implications for climate change and other collective action problems. For more information, visit events at .shu.edu. Seton Hall senior marketing major Victor Ritchie has created the company TrendPi all from his dorm room and created a, a million dollar business. The operation launched in April of 2015 and less than two years later has become one of the top internet marketing businesses in the world. For more information, please contact Keith Egan at keith.egan at student.shu.edu. And that concludes today's broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Taylor Martin. And I'm Dylan Schreiman. Thanks for watching and have a great day.